Well, Nick, thank you for coming. Thanks for having um, me. This is your first time to Croatia. Certainly your first time to Centar za obnovu kulture. Hmm. And how have you enjoyed and uh, found this conference that you've been speaking at? It was a wonderful discussion. I think an open and honest, frank discussion about the economic and geopolitical benefits that can come with increased access and diversification of energy resources uh, from uh, a number of different panelists looking at past examples like Lithuania as to what they did to successfully accomplish reducing their dependence uh, on one single supplier. So I think both in terms of lessons learned uh, for Croatian politicians as to how to advance uh, critical energy infrastructure, uh, but also tackling those key issues as to how can we successfully do this to the bene benefit of Croatian energy consumers. Yes, and the Heritage Foundation itself. Cintar um, Zobrovu Kulture, you asked me how many employees we have, I said none. <laughs> uh, but we're trying to do very much the same sort of thing as the Heritage Foundation has done. Uh, now tell us a little bit about heritage. It's philosophy. What makes heritage different? Sure. Well, the Heritage Foundation is a, a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization that's been around for 45 years. And we promote and formulate public policies based on the principles of limited government, free enterprise, and individual responsibility. Uh, and so effectively, we want the private sector to drive energy innovation uh, in the United States uh, based on a sound rule of law that protects private property rights. Uh, and if you look at a lot of the benefits uh, in the United States, but also around the world, um, it's when countries are more economically free. Uh, and in fact, we produce an index of economic freedom that statistically measures uh, how free a country is when it comes to taxes, regulatory burdens, monetary policy, and those economically free countries are the ones that uh, have higher levels uh, of economic growth and higher levels of prosperity, and they have cleaner environments. And so those are the principles that we advocate for in the United States and also work with valuable partners uh, like the center to advance those policies in other countries as well. Well, that's great to know. As you know, we've had well, more than a quarter of a century of independence here, but before that, 45 years of communism and totalitarianism and socialism and all the impoverishment that that brings. Mm -hmm. So do you think there's a special uh, sort mm -hmm. of value that uh, the bracing free enterprise of uh, America can bring to a country like this? Without a doubt. I mean, Croatia is such a beautiful country and uh, thriving because of uh, it, its wonderful destination opportunities uh, for tourism. Uh, but at the same time, it, it could be really taken to the next level uh, if the country embraced those principles of free enterprise. Yeah. Um, you, you would see more innovation, uh, you would see more foreign investment, uh, you would see more economic opportunities for uh, younger generations and all of these things uh, that come with lower taxes and less regulation that would stifle economic growth. Uh, uh, those are the policies that we want to move away from. Uh, yes. and, and there's opportunities to move toward productive economic policies that encourage free enterprise yes. and provide consumers with more choice uh, of all goods and services. And higher living standards. Much higher, higher living, living standards. standards. Much higher.